Imagine this. You're sitting at home relaxing when suddenly your phone starts buzzing non-stop. Text after text pours in, your screen lighting up with a flood of notifications. At first it might seem like a harmless prank, or maybe just a group chat gone wild. But what if it's something more sinister? What if someone is deliberately overwhelming your phone trying to distract you, or even worse, trying to break into your private world? In this video, we're going to pull back the curtain and reveal the actual tools and techniques that hackers use to invade your privacy. From sophisticated software that intercepts your messages, to sneaky tricks that exploit weaknesses in your phone's security, you'll learn exactly how these attacks happen, and how easy it can be for someone to target you. Misusing these tools or attempting to hack into someone else's messages is not just unethical, it's illegal. Getting caught can lead to criminal charges, hefty fines and even jail time. The consequences are serious and it's simply not worth the risk. First up is the notorious SMS Bomber, a tool that has gained infamy for its disruptive capabilities. Unlike tools designed for data theft, the SMS Bomber is all about chaos. It's a digital prankster's dream, designed to overwhelm and frustrate. Imagine your phone, a device you rely on daily, suddenly becoming unusable. It floods your phone with hundreds, sometimes thousands of texts, rendering it practically useless. Hackers often use it as a prank, but it can also serve as a denial-of-service attack, effectively blocking important messages and causing significant inconvenience. These tools exploit APIs to send messages from various sources, making them incredibly difficult to block. The messages seem to come from everywhere, leaving the victim helpless. In the realm of cybersecurity, SMS bombers are sometimes used for stress testing systems, a practice known as penetration testing. This helps identify vulnerabilities in communication systems, However, using an SMS bomber without explicit consent is considered illegal harassment. It crosses the line from a prank to a serious offense with potential legal consequences. If your phone starts blowing up unexpectedly with a barrage of messages, it's crucial to recognize the signs. This could be the work of an SMS bomber. Now that you're aware of the SMS bomber, you know what you're up against. Stay vigilant. And if you suspect you're a target, take immediate action to protect your device and data. Spoof text is a more deceptive tool than most people realize. At first glance, it might seem like just another text message, but beneath the surface, it's a sophisticated method used by cyber criminals to manipulate and deceive. Spoof text allows someone to send a message that appears to come from a trusted contact, such as your bank, a friend, or even a company you regularly interact with. This makes it incredibly difficult to spot the difference between a genuine message and a fake one. The process involves using special software or online services to disguise the sender's identity. By entering a fake sender ID, hackers can make their messages look authentic, tricking you into thinking a message is from someone you know or trust. This is what makes spoof text so dangerous. It preys on your trust and familiarity. Hackers use spoof text for phishing attacks, sending messages that appear to come from legitimate sources. These messages often contain urgent requests or alarming information, prompting you to act quickly without thinking. For example, you might receive a text that looks like it's from your bank, warning you of suspicious activity and asking you to verify your account details. These deceptive messages might ask for sensitive information like passwords, credit card numbers or personal identification details. Sometimes, they include malicious links that, when clicked, can install harmful software on your device or direct you to fake websites designed to steal your data. To combat these threats, cybersecurity experts study spoof text techniques and use this knowledge to educate others. They develop training programs and awareness campaigns to help people recognize the signs of spoofed messages and avoid falling victim to scams. Many organizations run regular cybersecurity simulations, sending out fake phishing messages to test employees' awareness. These exercises help identify who might be vulnerable and provide targeted training to strengthen the company's defenses. It's important to remember that using spoof text to deceive or defraud others is a serious crime. Law enforcement agencies around the world actively investigate and prosecute individuals involved in these illegal activities. The consequences can include hefty fines and even imprisonment. To protect yourself, always be cautious with unexpected messages especially those asking for personal information or urging immediate action. If you ever receive a suspicious text, 
Take a moment to verify its authenticity by contacting the sender through a trusted channel, such as calling your bank directly or checking with the official website. Staying vigilant is your best defense against spoof text scams. SMS Peeper is about intercepting and reading messages, a terrifying breach of privacy. Many sites claiming to offer this are scams, but the technology is real. It exploits vulnerabilities in the SS7 network, redirecting texts to hackers. Ethical hackers expose these flaws to improve security. Intercepting messages without consent is a severe privacy violation. Push for secure communication methods like encrypted apps. Hush SMS is an Android app used by penetration testers. It sends specialized SMS messages, often invisible to the recipient. Hackers use it for reconnaissance, testing defenses without detection. Ethical hackers use it to audit mobile security. Sending these messages without permission is illegal. Understand the sophisticated ways attackers can probe your device. TextNow offers anonymity with disposable numbers, useful for privacy but also for malicious activities. Hackers use it for phishing and harassment, making them hard to trace. Privacy advocates use it to protect personal information. Misusing it for illegal activities is a crime. Be skeptical of messages from unknown numbers, as they could be from disposable sources. Kingaroot isn't an SMS tool but gives full control over an Android device. Routing allows access to all data, including SMS databases. Hackers can use it to install spyware and access messages. Routing is for power users and developers, but it's risky. Routing someone else's phone is a serious crime. It voids warranties and increases vulnerability to malware. MySMS syncs texts across devices, convenient but a security risk. If someone gets your password, they can access your messages remotely. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication. This prevents unauthorized access to your messages. Mobile Spy is commercial spyware, invisible once installed. It logs texts, calls, GPS and more, used for unethical surveillance. Companies market it for legal uses, but misuse is illegal. Be cautious about who has access to your phone. SMS Tracker logs texts and more, marketed for parental control. It raises ethical debates about privacy versus safety. Unauthorized use is illegal and a breach of trust. Open conversations about digital safety are crucial. Phone Monitor is a comprehensive spyware tool, capturing extensive data. It's marketed for legal uses, but misuse is illegal. Be vigilant about device security and use strong passcodes. We've explored tools that show how fragile mobile privacy is. These tools have ethical uses, but can be misused for harm. Use this knowledge to protect yourself and others. Thank you for watching. If you found this valuable, like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe out there.